today's message, I want to share with you this message, Let Your Light Shine. And I think, dili ani bago sa inyo ang akin verse. Let your light shine. And I want you to open your Bible to Matthew chapter 5. And let us read all together this Jesus teaching to his followers. Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 until verse 16. Include lang ito ang verse 13. <clears throat> Let us read all together, Matthew 5, 13 until verse 16. Ready? Start. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father in heaven. May God bless His word. So Jesus began His sermon, His teaching ministry, from, if, if you will read this chapter, Dirini Giwali ni Jesus Christ, ang Beatitudes, from his sermon, uh, uh, Beatitudes, until in, in this portion of scripture, the salt and the light, kining a passage. So, Jesus turns from blessing to responsibility as a, as a Christian, as his followers. Dibagi mentioned in Jesus Christ in verse 4, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And another verse, next verse, Blessed are the meek, until in verse 10, Kapila yun na, na, na mention ang word nga blessed. And in, in verse 13, there na ang gimension ni Jesus Christ, our responsibility. Yes, we will receive blessings, we will uh, enjoy sa benefits sa ginoo, but we also have a responsibility as Christians. We have this responsibility from our character to influence from character to influence and there's a reason that character comes first there's a reason nga, nga ang, ang, ang imuhang attitude imuhang kinaiya it, it, it will come first character comes first before influence because the greatest influence you have comes from who you are the, great, the greatest influence you have to your children to your classmates, to your workmates, to your employees, or even to your neighbors, it comes from who you are, from your character. Whether you are a parent to your children, a teacher to your students, or a manager, a boss, sa mga employees, who you are will have a greater influence on others than anything else in your life. So, Kitatanan niya mga Christian, every Christian is called by God to be an influence on the world around them. Kita, kita, ako, kamutanan. We should have an influence on the world around them. And Jesus began teaching this concept sa iyang ministry. First, He started them, nga nga, giingon niya yung mga disciples, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So they follow Jesus. And then in this sermon on the mount, he used this illustration of salt and light. But let us focus only in verse, uh, verses 14 and 16. Ang light lang sa atong istoryahan karon. So this morning, let us consider some important lessons for our Christian life. Being the light of the world. Kita, we are the light of the world. And let's consider first the qualities of light. Nada sa inyo hang... Uh, program if you can see the qualities of light and first it's obvious that light requires an energy source it requires an energy source and natural sources of light include the sun stars, fire and electricity so kini atong mga flashlights mga bulbs 
kaning mga lamps na to, kaning suga sa tong mga sakyanan, and even our phones, they need energy sources. Kinahala ni sila nga, nga naayod sila energy sources. So, ang, ang phones ganin na to, kung mahot na nag-battery, di ba, mapaong, mawala yun, bisa kung saan yung mag-try, nga mag-andar na, di yun ang masiga. Kinahot na lang siya battery So most of the lights that are man-made need an energy source. And that's why na ay mga batteries na ay mga mga produkto nila. Karon na ay kuha na ay solar. Hindi na kailangan nato i-charge. Ibuwad lang na dra sa init. And it will produce light. Because that's the quality of light. It requires an energy source. So, kining suga na to, nagasiga ni siya, kaya tungod na electricity. Kung wala na electricity, wala. Ang hit-ngit kayo, Padre Karon. Maglisod dag tanaw sa ito ang mga Bibles. And if we relate it to our Christian life, as what we have read in our passage, that we are the light in this world, we also require an energy source. And who is our source sa itong kusog? Who is the source of our energy? It says in John 12:46. Ingon ni Jesus Christ, I have come into the world as light so that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. Jesus Christ is our energy source and that source will never run out. Ang kanang nga nga na kay Jesus Christ because we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that light in us Magreflect sad nga sa uban. And the very reason why we worship today, because of Christ. The purpose why we come here to church, to have fellowship with our fellow believers, to, to listen to God's word, it is because of Christ. We work, we serve, because Christ ga- gives us the energy to do what we need to do. Christ is the source of our an- energy. And without Him, Without an energy, ang kining suga is useless. Without electricity, walay pulos ang kining suga. And in John 15, it teaches us that without Christ, we are nothing. And that is why we need an energy source. Kailangan na ayod tayo source at ang kusog na tayo source at ang light. And we will only receive that light. We will only found that light. Find that light. In Jesus Christ. So, if we feel empty and dry, let's reconnect to Jesus as our source of all things, source of our energy, source of our joy, source of our peace. Let's try to reconnect to Jesus. And if, and in order to have the light, we need Him in our lives. Kailangan jo natos Jesus Christ. Ingonia. I have come into the world as light so that whoever believes in me will not remain in darkness. Wala na, dili na ka mo magpabilin padra sa kangit-ngit. But you will find light in me. You will find your purpose, your direction. So we need Jesus as our energy source. So that's the first quality of light. Second quality of light is to dispel darkness. Light's purpose is to dispel darkness. That's the main purpose of light. Yan na, Adre, karon Makita na to para to dispel darkness. Kaya kung wala ning light, bisag ako siguro maglisod kong basa sa Bible. Last year, itong pagbagyong audit, grabe yun to. Ay, bisan asa na lang ta magsigig pangita o oh. Uh, ma-charge sa itong mga phones sa itong mga flashlights eh lisod gayo lisod gayo nga wala tayo suga sa itong balay lisod gayo nga maglakaw-lakaw ka nga wala kay suga di mo maklaro yung mandalan wala ka kay baon sa matama ka ni mo wala kay baon basi na ay kanal di ay di ha diba lisod gayo nga wala yung suga limited ang imahang lihok dili ka katrabaho tungod sa ngit-ngit and darkness is the direct opposite of lightness. And human vision is unable to distinguish colors because of darkness. And ang, ang 
ang character sa darkness is that darkness covers the real beauty of a thing. Kung ngit-ngit ni Karun, dili kayo ni mamaklaro on sa true color. Sa usa kabutang. It hides wonders and at the same time, dangers. You cannot appreciate the thing because of a bleak na vision. Darkness, maoy naga naga hinder sa ato ang dalan. I remember years ago, naglakaw-lakaw mi sa uh, Gimaras, dito sa amo ang uh, weekend center. Visitation mi sa mga families and uh, bukid kayo to, nga, nga, nga lugar amo ang giadtuan. Hayag pa mi nag-start og bisita sa mga mga members, mga families, pero kay tungod daghan ang pamilya and kada family of course magandam yun aslag pagkaon, magandam yun aslag snacks and magsigi pag storya-storya, napay prayer time namo. So madugay jud mi og gan, madugay jud mi og ah uh, sa among time. And naabdan mi gabi eh. Wala may mga cellphones kay tungod, i-submit man among cellphones. Wala sad may mga suga. Abdan may ngit-ngit niya. Lisod niya yung ang dalan kay pang-pang to ang bukid niya mong giyagian. Dagat na sa ubos. So kung mamalik ag dikang, add to na ka sa ubos po nito. Andito na mo nakita nga lisod niya yung nga walay suga. Lisod niya yung nga. It's hard to take a step. Nga imuhang vision. Di niyo maklaro. Imuhang vision is unclear. So, Maybe the reason nga nga nung di na to makita sa nang atong purpose in life, we cannot see the direction. Kay tungod wala patay suga. Kay tungod wala pata si wala pata nagtuo. Wala si Jesus Christ sa ato ang kinabuhi. It's hard to find your life's purpose because wala nimo ki consider si Jesus Christ as your light, the light of the world. Again, the purpose of light is to dispel darkness. And those who came from darkness will surely appreciate the light. Because one of the proofs nga, ang luwas nga tao, is that mapasalamaton siya sa ginoo. He will surely appreciate the light na iha na receive. He will surely appreciate God's grace because you came from darkness to light. And darkness and light dispels darkness. That's the quality here in our in, in in the verse. And another thing, light is useless if it is hidden. There is a verse 15 or starting in verse 14. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lampstand and it gives light to all who are in the house light is useless if it is hidden sa una kandila nila ang gamit so the reason why Christ used the light as an illustration to his sermon is because light is a symbol to to use as an awareness instruction and understanding knowledge To be light means to be a witness to others concerning the truth of God's word, especially about who Christ is and how he died and rose again for our salvation. So Jesus refined this idea that each one who followed him must have a spiritual impact on others. We must have a spiritual impact on those people nga naas atong palibot. And that is why his disciples, he sent them out to all the towns and around them to preach repentance and the coming of the kingdom of God. Because he wants them to influence the world. He wants them to, to be the light of the world. Don't hide. Can phrase the ring, a city set on a hill cannot be hidden because Jerusalem is a city on Mount Zion. Naani siya sa kan babaw sa bukid. It is an elevated area. Kung mutanaw sila sa ubos, makita nila dito ang Dead Sea, kita nila ang Jordan River. And Christ used this phrase, a city on a hill cannot be hidden. Because, again, ancient cities, ancient cities were often placed on, on top of the hills. 
and that is to offer greater defense and safety. Kung ang city naa sa babaw sa bukid, it, it will offer greater defense and, sa- si- and safety. And another reason is that ang, ang mga tao, people would see them from far away. And kibaw sila, asa sila mo adto if danger came. Sayo na lang sila hatan aon if ang city naa sa babaw. They know where to flee if danger came. So, the relevance is this. Christ used the light and the city on top of the hill. Because if you are a disciple of Christ, you are the light and you are like a city on a hill. You are there to give people direction. You are there to give people safety. Comfort, knowledge about Christ. So you are there to provide safety and security for people who came from darkness. That is why Jesus Christ, nadili ka dapat magtago. When you when you light a candle, dili na pwede nga imuhang tabunan o uh, bushel sa inyo hadra sa uh, King James version and sa another version basket or kung i-simplify nato karon sa ato ang adlaw uh, maybe ma- pwede nato siya mabutang nga mahimo nga balde lili pwede nga tabunan nimo ang kandila ug balde kay nga naman it will not give light sa inyo hang balay we are not uh, monks who isolate and hide from the world to stay away from pleasures but instead, we go to people and become a light to them. Di ba ang mga monks, gina-isolate nila ilang kaugalingon para layo sila sa temptations. Di sila makasala. But kita, we go to people and become a light to them. How can you apply service, kindness, love for others if you are hiding? How can you apply the second greatest commandment, love your neighbors as yourself, if naalang kasi niyang balay? Nara kasi mga kwarto, magsigil agtago, muli kayo na mga tao. Although we are in this world, but we are not of this world. So, imong natunan sa Bible, walay pulos, kung imo rang itago, dili na imong pakita. Light is useless if it is hidden. Second here, let your light shine. This is a command of Jesus. We are to let our light shine before others. We are the light of the world. Meaning, para, kita, para yun sa kalibutan. Dili lang kay, a limited lang ang ato ang suga. Pagsiga sa tong suga. Take note that Jesus didn't say we are the light. We are to be the light of the world. But he says, we are the light, kita mismo. Mao ang suga sa kalibutan. We are the light. And we have to let our light shine so that others may see Christ. And this reminds me of a, a song, uh, one of my favorite hymns, Make Me a Blessing. Dila na ako ni kantahon na kay. Basig, dila mo ganahan maminaw hinoon. Ako lang basahon ang, ang, ang mga stanzas sa so, Make Me a Blessing. It says in first stanza, Out in the highways and byways of life, many are weary and sad. Carry the sunshine or the light where darkness is rife, making the sorrowing glad. Second stanza, it says, Tell the sweet story of Christ and His love. Tell of His power to forgive. Others will trust Him if only you prove through every moment you live. Others will trust Him. Others will see Jesus Christ if only you prove. If imuha pong ipakita sa imuhang actions. In third stanza, give as trust given to you in your need. Love as the Master loved you. Be to the helpless a helper indeed unto your mission be true 
So remember, we are the light of the world. And if we are, if our light shines only in this building, only in this church, then we are not fulfilling our purpose. Because Jesus Christ did not say, you are the light in this church. But in this world, dili lang pa'y para dari sa ato ang simbahan. But as well as ng tibuok building dari, tibuok kalibutan. We worship, we have fellowship with our churchmates, and we also evangelize because the main ministries of the church is edification and evangelism. Edification, to edify the saints, to help the believers mature and grow in Christ, and as well as evangelism. Edification is the ministry inside the church, and evangelism is the ministry outside the church. Where we can apply the Great Commission to go and preach the gospel, to go and tell the kingdom of Jesus Christ. So if our light shines only in this building, we are not fulfilling our purpose. And if our light shines only to our family, we are not fulfilling our purpose as well. We must show our lights to others, to our neighbors, to your relatives, to your, even to strangers. You must show your light. We are not to limit our lights to our little circle of our influence. But we are to take every possible opportunity to shine them so that dark places, mga mga lugar, will be exposed sa suga na naaka nato. And when we look at the Beatitudes dire sa sermon ni Jesus Christ, we saw that the Beatitudes were all about Christian character. It builds our our character, our attitude. And whereas this section, nga atong gibasa, on salt and light, is all about Christian influence. The Christian character and the Christian influence. Let's always remember that you cannot influence the world if you are the same as the world. You cannot change something unless you are different. And as Christians, we are to be people of influence. Dapat maghatag itag influence yun ngadto sa aban. So we must be different from the world because the world in John in First John two fifteen ang ang two seventeen the world na ay tatlo kasala. Last of the eyes, last of the flesh, and pride of life. They are not of the Father, but is of the world. That is why we we live against the flow. Diba? Na ay common nga phrase, go against the flow. But Christians, we live against the flow. Especially, sala na. Kung sala, kung dili maayo, if it, it will compromise. So we live against the flow so you cannot influence the world if you are the same as the world that is why you have to let your light shine to the people around you to your loved ones maybe na pay mga unsaved nimo nga mga relatives mga classmates mga close friends nimo let your light shine sa ilaha and lastly here, the question, how to let our light shine? Sa mo na to, pag pakita sa ito ang suga, how to let our light shine? Because, siguro, ready na ka magpasiga sa mga suga, pero di ka kahibaw on sa on. O kahibaw on sa on. First here, how to let our light shine? Ako ni Gikonre. First, ang letter L, love people passionately. Love people passionately. That's the second greatest commandment of God in Mark 12:31. Akong basahon para and try to uh, read that as well. In verse 28, Mark 12:28 until verse 31. 
Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandment is hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Ang answer ni Jesus Christ is taken from the Old Testament, Deuteronomy. And in verse 30, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it is this, You shall love your neighbors as yourself. And there is no other commandment greater than this. Love people passionately. So kung, when we say to love your neighbor as yourself, kung unsa ni mo kapalangga, pagkahigugma sa imuhang kaugalingon, mga sa ang imuhang pagpakita, mga paghigugma nga sa kanila. Kung gaamping kasi imuhang lawas, kung ga take care kasi imuhang self, mga sa ang imuhang ipakita, mga pagamping nga sa uban. Love people passionately. Dili kay magpabilin ta sa tuang bitterness and anger, hatred because of maybe mga past experiences nimo. And that is why wala na kay hope sa mga tao, wala na kay tanan nga tao nga imuhang makitan, masugatan, wala kay pagigugma sila. Ha? But that is not what Jesus commanded to us. We have to love people passionately. And next letter, how to let our light shine. Letter I is that imitate Christ's humility. Imitate Christ's humility. Without humility, di kita kay, di kita kaserve nga sa uban. It says in Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 to 8, this is a basic yet hard to follow instruction of Paul to the Philippians. In verse 4, let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. In verse 4 again, let each of you not only look not only to his own interest, because ang gining a church na ay conflict, Philippian church na ay conflict, and dili sila maminaw sa opinion sa uban. Dili sila maminaw sa suggestion sa uban. Ang ilaha lang yung Decision ang ilang ginasunod. And Paul said, Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interests of others. Consider their opinions. Consider their, their judgment. And gigamit ni, ni Paul si Jesus Christ as an illustration of humility. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus who, though he was in the form of God, but did not count equality with God, a thing to be grasped, but he made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because Jesus is the perfect example of humility. Mo nagigamit niya as Jesus Christ as our model of humility. Because he was God. Si Jesus Christ, kaoba na siya sa ginoo, but he did not count equality with God. Ang mga privileges, nga naka dito sa langit, iha tong gigive up para magpakamatay. To become one of us to become one, to, to, to be a, a person na magpakamatay sa toang tanan. He became obedient to the point of death. So we have to imitate Christ's humility in order to, to let our light shine na makaserve kita sa uban because without humility, we cannot serve humanity. Labi nagtaas ka kapag tanaw si mong kagulingon. Dili ka mag-serve sa uban kay Dili ingana ay mga trabaho 
Humility sets self-focus aside for service to others. So imitate, imitate Christ's humility. And another letter, G, is that go to them intentionally. Na ako Go to them intentionally. In Matthew 28, verse 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go to them intentionally. Plan it out. Labi na karon. Risa tuha. Lisod ka ayaw nga ka ng murag. Mukalit lang kagtungha. Okay, wala ka kapangandam. Natay mga responsibilities. Natay mga duty na to. And you plan it out. Make a schedule if you want to meet that person. Not just you, you go to them in times of need. But you go to them intentionally. You go to them. You go to your classmate. You go to your workmate. You go to your employees. You go to your loved ones intentionally. To be the light. Silaha. And another here is that help them practically. Letter H. Help them practically. I'll read Hebrews 13, verse 16. It says here in Hebrews, Hebrews 13, 16, But do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. And another verse in Proverbs 19, 17. He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord, and he will pay back what he has given. So help them practically. Help those people who are in need. And I remember, sa una, experience naman ni sa uh, Dumaguete, na naay committee sa church for, for charity. Every time na naay masunugan, a church na kinikomite, maghatag sila relief goods or mga used clothes para sa mga biktima atong sunog and we help them practically and maybe someday or not just starting today starting today we, 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 we will help those people practically those who are in need it's easy to support them financially pero kaya nang naayod ka bitaw mahatag yun sila ha Lahi ang kalipay ngayon mga experience. You help them practically. Help people without expecting anything in return. And do it for the glory of God. And lastly, letter T, tell the gospel boldly in Romans 1.16. Romans 1.16. Romans 1.16, it says that For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. So this is Paul claiming that he was not ashamed to preach the gospel of Christ, to tell the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, how to let our light shine? To tell people about Christ. Of course, the reason why uh, Jesus Christ again used this is to illustration is to encourage his followers to preach the kingdom of God, to share the good news of salvation. And according to John Piper. One of the reasons why Christians don't share the gospel is that they are afraid because of fear. They are afraid. They are mauwaw sila sa pagwali sa gospel, pagwali sa kaluwasan, kung sa gihimo ni Jesus Christ. 
And gani ha sa song atong giganta, we are not given the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. And sa sa scripture of the month ngatong gibasa dito na mention po to ni Paul to speak boldly the mystery of Jesus Christ. Tell the gospel boldly and dili ka mahadlok. And if we are asked kung pila ka tao atong nasiran sa kaluwasan this month or atong month of December, nakaha? How about last year, 2021? Pila ka tao ang atong nasiran sa kaluwasan? So we have to tell the gospel boldly because we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world because Christ is light. In John 8:12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And we should reflect the light he gives us. Because when the sunlight of Christ shines on us, magical things happen. Miracles happen. Ingon sa Osaka uh, writer that when sunlight of when the sunlight of Christ shines on us, magical things happen. People fall in love with Christ. Marriages are restored. Relationships are restored. And people turn from a life of destruction to a life of purpose. And the question for us today, are you being the light? Are you being a light in the world? Drawing all people to God by your words, by your actions. Makita ba sa kinabuhi si Jesus Christ? By the way we act? The way we treat others? Or maybe, instead niya, ikaw mang suga, nahimo na hinoon ka nga babag para sa ilaha. na turn off na hinoon sila na magsunod kay Jesus Christ. I saw a post sa Facebook, many people stopped going to church not because of Jesus, but because of people who follow Jesus. So I hope nga we are the light of the world. We are the salt because of this world. And try to ask yourself, am I a blessing to others? Am I a blessing to my family? Am I a blessing to my children? Am I a blessing to, ch- to the church? Am I a blessing to, to my neighbors? So just like the hymn, make me a blessing. Make it, as your, pra- make it your prayer today to be a blessing. Not just to your family and friends, but to the church to strangers, to your enemies, to, to the people who hurt you, be a blessing to them. Remember, we are the light of this world, and light shines, and we have to stand out as followers of Jesus. Light illuminates, and we point people to God and His ways. We lead them to the Lord, and light reveals We show others how God wants us to live. And when your light shine, people will see your good works. The testimony of your life should match the testimony of your lips. Because, again, good works don't make you a Christian. But they show you that you are a Christian. When God's light shines through you, people will see Him in you. When God, when, when people recognize you as, as God's children, akin niya, kristuhano niya, nagatuo niya, nga naay ginuo siya kinabuhi, then they will praise God as your Father. When you fulfill your calling as light in the world, you bring glory to God. So I hope ang kanang light nga naa sa tuwa karon will not Di mapaong. Padayon nga magsiga. Padayon ang atong influence sa uban. Let your light shine. Let's pray.
Our dear God and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for the lessons that we have learned. We just pray and commit our lives to you, Lord, as our source of energy. Help us to, to become, to, to be the light of the world. Help us to give influence to the people around us so that they may see you. They will praise you. They will glorify you, Father. So bless your word. In Jesus' name, amen.